I think, I think um, I, like I said, I think Windows 8 is going to be very interesting on touch tablets and possibly on touch laptops. I think people who install it on existing non-touch laptops are going to be surprised, if they haven't tried it already, about what that experience is like. Surprised. In a negative way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That See, that's very makes me feel very sad. Those are the people who are going to be installing it, though, right? I mean, it's not everybody's going to be a new PC purchaser. Well, you know, the way most people get Windows anymore is getting it on a new PC. Right. Most people aren't, like, you know, techies. They don't go put so a new operating like, system So they're kind of like, we're going to take our chances. Right. But I mean, but if you get it on a traditional laptop, the experience is your start menu is suddenly... You're, no more start button. Right, there's no start button. Right. It's a completely different experience. It is. Like, people will be shocked and confused. Like, people who only know that, you know, who are using, like, it's gonna be Vista a or XP curve. right now or something. There's going to be a learning curve. How's yeah. that? What was the learning curve for you? Like, it was really weird for me. Yeah, it's really weird. Yeah. I don't, I, I'll tell you, I don't use Windows 8 on my laptop that I use for work. I don't. Well, that's not a ringing endorsement. You Sorry. use Linux. All right, I use Linux. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>